Welcome to Legacy Explorers, the channel where we explore the legends of the past and present. Join us as we uncover the secrets and meanings of history, mythology, and religion, and connect them to our modern world. Medusa was a beautiful woman who lived in Athens. She was known for her stunning looks and her devotion to the goddess Athena. Medusa was a priestess at Athena's temple and had taken a vow of celibacy. She was content with her life and had no desire for anything else. One day, while walking along the beach, Medusa met Poseidon, the god of the sea. Poseidon was immediately smitten by Medusa's beauty and began to pursue her relentlessly. Medusa, being a devout follower of Athena, refused his advances. But Poseidon was not one to take no for an answer, he was determined to have Medusa for himself. One day, when Medusa was alone in Athena's temple, Poseidon appeared before her. He tried to force himself upon her, but Medusa fought back. She screamed for help, but no one came to her aid. Poseidon was too strong, and he raped her in the temple, defiling the sacred space. When Athena learned of what had happened, she was furious. She was jealous of Medusa's beauty and felt betrayed by Poseidon's actions. In her anger, she cursed Medusa, turning her into a hideous monster with snakes for hair. Anyone who looked at her would turn to stone. Medusa was heartbroken by what had happened to her. She was no longer the beautiful woman she once was, and she could no longer live among humans. She fled to a remote island, where she lived in solitude, shunned by all. Years went by, and Poseidon began to regret what he had done. He realized that he had made a terrible mistake and that he had lost the love of his life. He went to Athena and begged for her forgiveness, but she refused. She told him that he had brought this upon himself and that he would have to live with the consequences of his actions. Poseidon was devastated. He knew that he could never be with Medusa again, but he could not bear to be without her. He went to the island where she was living and tried to win her back, but she refused. She told him that she could never forgive him for what he had done and that she could never love him again. Poseidon was heartbroken. He knew that he had lost the love of his life forever. He returned to the sea, where he spent the rest of his days, mourning the loss of his beloved Medusa. Years went by, and Athena began to feel guilty for what she had done to Medusa. She realized that she had been too harsh and that she had punished Medusa unfairly. She went to the island where Medusa was living and tried to make amends. She told Medusa that she was sorry for what had happened and that she wanted to help her. Medusa was skeptical at first, but she eventually forgave Athena. Athena used her powers to turn Medusa back into a beautiful woman, and she gave her the gift of immortality. Medusa was overjoyed, she was no longer a monster, and she could live forever. Poseidon, who had been watching from afar, was filled with hope. He realized that he still loved Medusa and that he wanted to be with her. He went to Athena and begged for her help. Athena, who had also realized that she still loved Poseidon, agreed to help him. Athena used her powers to bring Medusa and Poseidon together. They were reunited, and they fell in love all over again. They lived happily ever after, and their love story became a legend. And so, the tragic love story of Medusa, Athena, and Poseidon came to an end. It was a story of forbidden love, betrayal, and heartbreak. But it was also a story of forgiveness, redemption, and true love. A story that would be told for generations to come. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.